you take an image capture with Snagit, the file is automatically saved in your Snagit library as a SnagX file. Right click on the thumbnail in your capture tray and choose details from the menu. This will show you the file type among other information about this capture, like the application it was captured from, the location where it's saved, the size, and even the date it was created or modified. The SnagX file type is unique to Snagit, and you can open and edit SnagX files on both Windows and Mac computers. This is super helpful if you work on both platforms or if you want to share your captures with your team members so they can continue to edit them. Note that if you share a SnagX file with someone else, they will need to have Snagit version 2022 or later in order to open and edit the image capture. When you save your image to another file format, such as JPEG or PNG, Snagit flattens your image and you cannot edit any annotations or text further. If you use the Copy All button, you can paste the image into a slide presentation, email, or a document, and it automatically flattens the image as a PNG file. Back in Snagit though, the image remains as a SnagX file, so additional edits can still be made. If you'd like to save an image capture as a JPEG, PNG, or one of the many other file types available in Snagit, I recommend using File Save As. This will keep a copy of the SnagX file in your Snagit library, and the newly saved JPEG is saved in the location you chose on your computer or network. To recap, here are some best practices to remember when saving and sharing your Snagit captures. If you'd like to learn how to automatically save images to a specific format like JPEG or PNG during the capture process, check out the video tutorial linked below. We hope you found this information helpful. Thanks for watching.